Hey guys, Gray Beer Garage here. My name is Matt. And this weekend we're up on our property after the big old cold snap that came through right before Christmas. So we haven't been up here since then and we've been surprised with a little bit of an issue. We had a pipe burst. Fortunately, we had our well turned off so it wasn't running for a month. So we're going to take a look at what happened here and then we're going to show you how we're going to replace it. So this is our little outhouse and in here we have a sink normally and as you can see i'll show you here this pipe burst all through here let's see if we can get it in real tight yep yeah, there you go so we have to cut this out here cut it back over there slide a new piece through and then connect it in here fortunately i think i have all this stuff on the property so we can get this done let's go ahead and get to work so what we're going to do is this pipe runs through the stud here and um, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off probably behind this coupling and then we'll just run a whole new piece through there. So we have our little PVC cutters. We're going to go ahead and get that cut off. These are pretty nice because they cut a nice straight line. So we'll go ahead and cut that. Then we'll come up here just in front of our blowout. We'll cut that off. And then we'll pull this off the wall and we'll rebuild all this. Okay, so we had to run into town and get some PVC glue because I don't have any, didn't have any. And we went ahead and got our coupling on. And next thing we're gonna do is run a piece of pipe through here to connect to that coupling. And then we'll just reassemble everything back over on this side. We have our pipe, as you can see, connected to our coupling through the stud. Now we'll attach a T and then we can get this thing put back together pretty quick. Well, now we have a coupling on this side that's gonna to go to our toilet. We have our T, and we're gonna put a piece between there and then we'll put our valve back on there. We now have our pipe reconnected all the way through to the toilet. We have our T in with our up pipe. Now we're just gonna add this valve uh, assembly back on here to that piece. All right, guys, here we go. Everything's hooked up. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, turn turn the water back on and make sure we got a good seal. So we turned our water back on, the toilet filled, everything's holding here. The only problem is, I don't know, somehow I got the threads crossed on this plastic trashy thing. So I got to get a new one of those. But other than that... We've got the piping repaired at least. We can use the toilet, take a hot shower, so that's good. So we're going to run to the store, pick up one of those, fix it, move on. So we've gotten back from uh, the Lowe's up here, and we did not buy a new one of these. Um, we bought this model. Same kind of a utility uh, sink faucet, but this... Is actually all metal and it has brass threading uh, underneath that the water lines hook into whereas this one the whole thing is plastic everything on here is plastic so and the better thing is this was only $24 that's $46 and granted it has the pull out you know uh, shower kind of like handle or whatever but we don't need that so this was cheaper, it's all metal, the threading is brass, and we've gone ahead and got all that reassembled back here. You can see the plumbing's all back together, and the water lines are in here, and the sink is completely functional now. So, all done, minor problem, but we got it rectified. Hey guys, if you like this kind of content, hit that like button. And if you think it's something, this might be something useful for someone else, you can go ahead and share that video. 
if you haven't subscribed or you're new here, please consider uh, subscribing. And for those of you that have subscribed, we really do appreciate it as it has helped the channel out greatly. And we're growing, re growing really fast, which is super awesome. And um, thanks for checking us out as always, guys. My name is Matt. This is Grey Beer Garage. And remember, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. We'll see you here next time on Grey Beer Garage.